Peter. Wah, 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 wah. And this guy had a girlfriend for two and a half years, he said. So she ends up cheating on him uh, with some other guy. He finds out. And don't ask me how he found out. I don't know. And he said he genuinely, genuinely always tried to give her as much as he can, as enough attention. And he goes, look, Peter, you know, I've listened to some of your stuff. And he goes, look, I know, I get it. Some of us can be disillusioned or delusional. And, you know, we actually are assholes, but we think we're, we're doing everything perfect. And, and he goes, listen, believe me, I've been trying to be very self-aware with this stuff, man. And you know what? It, he said it was actually the other way. It was the other way. He actually gave her too much attention. Right? He was always there. He never went out with the boys. Like this guy. This guy's one of my heroes. He was up front. He was honest. He just came straight to it with his, well... Did he say flaws or did I think that? I, would, I wouldn't even call them flaws, but he just came straight out with it, you know? And maybe there are flaws. Maybe we all have that flaws. Do you know what I mean? But still, so he came out with it and he said, you know, I, I was too much, man. I never went out with my boys anymore. In fact, it was always, what does she want to do this weekend? And she knew that. Now, he said he got more clingy as the years went on and... He, he didn't go into detail of did something happen or this or that but he said you know no matter what Wednesday Thursday night would come around every week and he'd be like okay so honey we doing anything this weekend and then eventually he just realized that she was starting to get really fucking pissed off with this and it started to, to get into her system and he all of a sudden she was a bit distant and all of a sudden they went from spending every weekend to each other to she was going out in the, with with her girly friends and then he'd stay in he'd stay in he wouldn't even go out with the boys right so i mean talk about getting getting worse as you're going here and then she just got enough she ended up cheating on him but my point is this right like some people think it it can go the other way do you know what i mean it can go from some people don't invest enough in a relationship and they're complete assholes, but yet they'll delude themselves saying, oh, well, no, I'm, I'm wonderful and I'm great and I'm this and I'm that and blah, 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 and they'll never own up to their problems. Then you go the complete opposite way and then you can be way too fucking much, you know? And he even admitted that. He said that was his big flaw, big flaw. And he'd get text messages from the lads. He'd get phone calls. He'd meet them in town. He'd even meet them in town with his girlfriend walking along. Say, hey, listen, dude, we must get some drinks. And he said that even the girlfriend was encouraging him. You should go out with the boys, you know? You should. And like this guy, he said that he was a big social butterfly back in the day. He, he'd always be going out on the piss with the lads. And he just lost himself. So, you know, may, maybe there's something to be, to be to take on board with that one, you know? Maybe it's... Sometimes it can be too fucking much. Way too much. You know? And then, of course, the problem here is to end to end the story. She ends up cheating on him. And they they break up. And then she find he finds out who the guy was. And he he doesn't know him as a friend or this or that, but he knows of him. I was like, oh, that guy. He knows him what he looks like, etc. And then, a couple of days later, after she moved out, they were living together, he sees her in town with that guy, and they're sitting outside a bar. He walks past the bar. Of course, he said that his heart dropped, of course. I couldn't understand that. Jesus. And then she looked at him, and she waved over at him with a huge fucking smile on her face. Now, he said it wasn't like, oh my God, so good to see you, Harry. Bullshit, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Why would you g g wave over to your ex with a huge smile on your face? You know what I mean? I was even in this scenario before. My God, it was almost like a fucking mirror story here. But like, <laughs> if anything, it's going to be awkward, you know? Or, oh God, I'm busted. Fuck, oh my God, oh my God. 
you know and Lost Munchkin jumps here on TikTok at least it wasn't one of his mates yeah well at least that at least that but you know walking past she gives a huge big oh hi a big wave and she he said that she really dramatized the wave massive fucking beaming smile on her face <sighs> unless the guy now is full of it he's imagining something he's exaggerating it but you know something even if he took the smile the wrong way how could you take the smile the wrong way if anything You'd be ducking under the table if you saw your ex only a few days afterwards. Do you know what I mean? Jesus, man. I tell you, sometimes, man, you know... It, it, <laughs> you know, I got a couple of gay friends, right? You know what? I'm jealous of gay guys sometimes, I have to admit. Honestly, like, I'm a 100% straight guy. And you know, the stories I hear about gay guys... Now, I look, I know, there's always the pros and cons of being straight and being gay. Fuck me, man, I tell you, gay guys, he got... They got an easy life, like in a, in a lot of ways. You know, you go into it, you go into a nightclub, you know you're gonna hook up. Perhaps chances are 95% you're gonna hook up. All you gotta do is, hey buddy, you wanna uh, wanna come for a drink? Chances are you're getting laid. You know, no problems. In, out, done, good luck, and then you're moving on to the next guy. Like, do you realize how many how li how many people would be hooking up if there was straight men and straight women just getting it on right like a lot of gays do I'm not saying every gay right but the stories I've heard and what I've seen as well myself and you know what they're dead right man why not go get them tiger that's what I'd say and at the end of the day can you imagine how how, how much of a lack of relationships that there would be out there seriously with straight people like, if straight men, straight women, went into a bar right now and just went, yeah, let's go to the toilet or let's go home or whatever it is, right? Whatever the way people hook up, okay? And they just went straight in, one night stand, in, out, done, good luck. No one gave a shit. Do you realize how many people would, would never get into a relationship? Like, I'm sorry to burst some people's bubble here if I am, and I, I really don't mean to, honest to God. But seriously... Like, we have to r realize this, too, that there's a lot of people that get into relationships because they're not getting any action. And they're desperate for some action, desperate for some love, you know? Now, then, on the other hand, you get somebody who's getting action all the time, right? And then, of course, it, it, you eventually get sick of it. Like, I'm telling you, I knew a couple of, uh, even one ex-girlfriend about 15 years ago of mine. She told me her number at the time, and I was like, oh my god, I nearly had a heart attack, okay? Now, of course, she was probably telling me uh, a fib, right? It probably was more than that. Y you just don't know. You know, let's be honest, people will tone their number down, right? If you're going to tell somebody a number. And I'd understand that from her as well, and a guy. But, you know, you'd want... <laughs> Like, I would rather that girl, in a weird way, in a weird way, I would rather that girl, because she's got it out of her system, she's had her fun, right? She's not hooking up with Peter because she's desperate, all right? Or she's never had sex, okay? Like, what if you do end up with that person, and then all of a sudden, they want more. They want more sex, right? Or they're getting what they want from you, then they're like, do you know what, hey... Now they get the confidence to go off and bang everybody else. I'm telling you, man. Now, then again, I heard a lot of times, too, that there's a lot of gay men that cheat. Well, do you know what? There's a lot of straight people that cheat as well. <laughs> let's let's call it, like, let, let's call it what it is. Do you know what I mean? There's a lot of straight people that, that cheat, too. So, but I'm telling you, man, like, the gays have, the gays have it the right way, man. In, out, done, good luck. And I've seen it. Guys will have the one night stand and they don't talk anymore. Think of a shit. See, like, this is what I wonder about Adolf Hitler. Like, I'm not joking you here, right? I'm not joking you here. I actually, maybe I could be wrong on this. I genuinely believe, right, if Hitler was getting laid more, he probably wouldn't have gone to, to war. He'd be too busy shacking up with every fucking chick. 
Now, then again, you could argue that saying, well, hang on a second, he got into power, he got famous, so he could have been, he could have been doing every woman out there. Good point. Excellent point. Just don't know. But I do, I do think a lot of the, these, these people out there, they're miserable. They just have this thing in their head that they're convinced they can't get laid. They can't get a woman. Like, we've seen this before. How many people, how many people have we seen before out there, right? All of a sudden, you've got your buddy, okay? Or you know the next door neighbor, or your brother and sister, whoever. It doesn't matter, right? But you know someone who's just a fucking misery. And then all of a sudden, they get a boyfriend, girlfriend, or they're getting laid, right? And guess what happens? They turn into little sweethearts. Let's even just stay on the getting laid part here. You know what I mean? Like, I, I know guys out there right now. I know guys right now that I know very well. If I got them laid right now, they'd be such happy men. Now, would they be looking for a relationship? Some of them would, some of them wouldn't. But if they knew they could get sex on tap, I'm telling you, lads, it's a gay man's world. Peter. Wow. 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 Wow.